What's going on guys? In today's video, I want to do a video talking about what I feel are the best pair of leather work gloves out there. And this video is just my opinion and it's a completely unbiased opinion, meaning that nobody sent me these gloves. I paid for all these gloves with my own money. I work with my hands, so I know what works and what doesn't work. So let me backtrack a little bit. So a while back, like going through high school and, and going through college to pay for the bills, I was a landscaper. I was a landscaper for about six years and those were some hard days, man. 11, 12 hour days, <laughs> working Saturdays too. It took a lot out of me. But anyway, when I was landscaping, the main pair of gloves that I always had were these Wells Lamont leather cowhide gloves. And I normally got the three pack of these from Costco, and I think the three pack at the time was maybe around twenty dollars. I, I don't even know if they still sell them in the three pack. But um, these gloves would never last more than a month. What would fail? Either the stitching around the thumb would fail, this wear strip would peel off, and then it'd make it really hard to use the gloves, or most commonly what would happen is I'd get a hole in the fingertip right there. You could see where my fingertips kind of like indent into the glove right there. Another problem I have with the Wells and Lamont gloves is they never really fit my hand. These are medium gloves and there is just so much extra in the way of the fingertip and I mean to be fair this could vary from person to person you know one person could have long fingers. I mean if you're getting a medium sized glove you'd expect the finger length on the gloves to be a bit shorter but I always have I always had this problem with these Wells and Lamont gloves. I mean you could see where the leather is clean, that means my fingertip stops, you know, maybe a half inch before that. And then, you know, just the dexterity of these gloves aren't great. So with these Wells Lamont cowhide gloves, never last more than a month, usually holes in the fingertips, fingertip length of the glove is too long. Also another minor thing that I never liked about these gloves, I think these are like dyed yellow. So at the end of the day, especially with the new pair of gloves, if my hands got a little bit sweaty, pull my hand out and my hand turned, you know, yellow from the dye they'd use in these gloves. Yeah, I found a better solution. Now, I've been looking for a good pair of leather gloves for a long time now, and about six months ago, I found these VGO gloves on Amazon, and I thought, hmm, they're white gloves, you know, maybe they're a little bit different, let me give them a try. Let me tell you, I love these gloves so far. So, a little bit about these gloves. They are made by VGO, and both of these gloves are made in China, unfortunately, it's just how it is. But with these VGO gloves, there's a few things different about them. One, they're made out of goat skin, as opposed to these Wells Lamont, which are cow skin. And it's been my experience that the goat skin is a lot tougher, it doesn't wear down nearly as quick, um, and the dexterity is a lot better. Like if I put these Wells Lamont gloves on for a moment here, remember these fingertips are pretty long. I have a little screw right here. If I go to try and pick up this this little screw, I'm being a little dramatic, but it's a lot harder to pick up this little screw with these Wells Lamont gloves, especially because the fingertips are so long. It's really hard for me to get my fingers down in here and pick this thing up. I can do it, but it's not great. Now if I go to these VGO goatskin gloves, Notice how the fingertips are black. These fit my hands much better. The fingers are sized appropriately, meaning that there's no like excessive overhang of glove over the very tip of my finger. Um, and it's easier to move my hand and I have so much better dexterity. Like, of course I missed the screw on the first time, but like going to pick up this screw, this little screw, I can do it with much more ease than I would using the uh, the Wells Lamont glove. So yes, they're, they're uh, goat skin. Goat skin, I, again, I think it's a, it's a much tougher material, much longer lasting. And additionally, I said earlier that with these Wells Lamont, Wells Lamont gloves, I'd never get more than a month out of them. With these VGO gloves, these are actually from the first three pack of gloves that I bought from Amazon. And uh, with these gloves, they're six months old. You can tell that they've been through quite some heavy use. And only now, they're starting to show just a little bit of failure on the stitching on the very tip of the fingertip, but these are still very usable. On the face of the glove, there's no holes, no protrusion, none of the stitching's failing. These are, in my opinion, really heavy duty gloves and really excellent gloves. 
Cost-wise, they cost just about the same as the Wells Lamont glove. I think you can go on Amazon right now and get a three-pack of these gloves for $20. <laughs> um, I bought two three-packs of these gloves, and as you can see, like, I really haven't even used the second pack of gloves that I bought. So I have these gloves, you know, throughout the, throughout the shop in my truck, so that's why I'm missing the, the other two pairs of gloves from the first three-pack. They're just floating around, but... Yeah, if you're looking for a really good set of leather gloves, I'd recommend going with these VGO goatskin gloves. Awesome set of gloves. If you're interested in, in them, I would leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.